the whole idea is not for the companies to own the IP, but rather to take advantage of a startup's innovation as a customer um, of that and allow that company to build a business where they own the IP. And, you know, you're just you're just becoming a client of them, but not like an RFP. Yeah, I, I, that makes sense in theory. Can you give me an example? I feel like it would just be interesting to kind of hear some of the oh, anecdotally. That I, um, no worries. One of them, no, one of them was um, some of the data coming off manufacturing lines and how do you better um, align that, take a, ingest that data and be able to um, prepare that for um, analysis, et cetera. So those are, that was one, um, but there's been, Ones around like in healthcare around um, isolation um, and how do we help so solve, you know, especially I, you know, seniors who are feeling isolated. And oh, this one was awesome. during the pandemic, right? Um, Everybody was feeling another isolated one, during the pandemic. <laughs> another one after the pandemic um, and similar kind of thing is how do you build trust um, across health, uh, you know, in your healthcare providers and, you know, especially for those that um, may have not had great access to healthcare in the past, um, you know, and build that trusting relationship. So those are interesting problem statements yeah, that, sure. you know, one company doesn't have to own the answer for, but rather it's, a, it's an industry challenge or a market challenge that you could truly build a business off of.